deoxygenated blood enters the right side of the heart through two large veins, the inferior and superior vena cava, emptying the blood from the body into the right atrium of the heart. The blood flows from the right atrium into the right ventricle, then leaves the heart through the pulmonary artery and is transported to the lungs where it picks up oxygen. Gaseous exchange then takes place in the lungs where carbon dioxide is released from the blood and oxygen taken up. The pulmonary veins then transport the oxygen-rich blood from the lungs back into the left atrium of the heart. The blood then flows from the left atrium to the left ventricle before leaving the heart through the aorta and circulating to the organs and tissues of the body through the arteries. Before birth, the circulation in the fetus is very different from the adult circulation. In the fetus, there are connections in the heart that help circulate the blood quickly around the body without going to the lungs to pick up oxygen. Blood flow to the lungs is unnecessary in a fetus as gaseous exchange takes place at the placenta. One of the connections in the circulatory system supporting the heart in the fetus is called the ductus arteriosus, commonly known as the ductus or duct. The duct is located between the pulmonary artery and the aorta. In the fetus, the duct allows the flow of blood between these two major blood vessels as the blood bypasses the lungs. This fetal structure enables fully oxygenated blood to pass from the placenta into the fetus. After birth, the lungs inflate and the temporary connections bypassing the lungs are no longer needed and close over a short period of time in healthy babies.